I here? Well, my last project, I was doing that Easter cross and I talked about it, doing it proportionally and all this stuff. And my friend Don, he wrote me and he sent me a link to something called a Fibonacci gauge. And so I was really curious about that because it says that it puts things in the golden proportion. And so in dentistry, we learned about the golden proportion with teeth and all that stuff, but we never really got into it much more. So I had a really fun time reading about the golden proportion and how it's everywhere and how it means that it makes things uh, pleasing to the eye or more pleasing to the eye when it's in the golden proportions, which is 1.618, which is found when you divide a line so that the ratio of A to B is the same as the ratio of B to C. And this only happens when A is 1.618 times B and B is 1.618 times C or C is 0.618 of B and B is 0.618 of A. That's the golden proportion. And it's found everywhere in nature and that twirly of a snail or a whatever those other things are called, you know, that's, that's in that proportion too. So while I was looking it up, I found a video by Steve Ramsey and he makes a Fibonacci gauge. And so he had the template for it and everything. So I printed that off and I'm gonna make my own Fibonacci gauge. So this is the template that I printed off from Steve Ramsey's website, which I'll leave a link to in the description box. And I'll also leave a link to his video where he makes one. But I am just going to go by all these measurements and I found these nice pieces of wood in my scrap pile. And I'm just gonna be cutting it up and making it. So I ripped those down to size as per the template. And I noticed the hard way that some of the measurements on the template need to be added together. So I ended up cutting a few things too short and had to start over. Then I started measuring and cutting the four pieces. Then I marked where the first hole was to be drilled. I set up a jig and drilled all four holes at once. Then I measured where the second hole was supposed to go and adjusted my jig and drilled them all at once too. Then I marked the middle of the three longest pieces and I drew a line from the one and a half inch mark and used the sander to shape the ends to a point dish. Okay. Next was the assembly. I had to Google a picture of it to see how it goes together. I bought some rivets and they're the kind that you hammer together and I started um, uh, assembling it. It was very difficult to push the rivets through the holes and hammering it didn't work very well either. So I took it to the vise and squeezed it together and that worked really nice. well. Look at that. Cool, okay. Let's fix the other ones. So I did all of the rest of them that way. Well, here it is. So I just made another Fibonacci gauge using bigger holes. I used 1164 drill bit with my rivets. So I would just recommend whatever rivets you have, make sure that your hole size is correct. Well, with my second Fibonacci gauge, I got to thinking about what can I do with it? And so I was talking to a friend and they suggested, why don't you just frame it and put it on the wall? Good idea. So I cut out a piece of plywood, made some frames for my Fibonacci gauge. Then I printed off part of the number since it goes to like infinity. And I thought it'd be fun to put the numbers on the frame. So I set out the boards, put larger boards around them, used the lacquer thinner transfer to move the numbers to the wood, and then routed out the numbers. I used a 1 8 inch spiral upcut bit and routed out the numbers to the 56th decimal place. Then I brushed out the sawdust and sprayed it with black primer. I also sprayed the backer board too. And when it was dry, I took it outside and sanded the boards with the numbers. Then I glued them in place. 
Well, I think it's dry and it's ready for me to put a spray finish on it or some kind of finish. But first I'm going to put something else in here because it's gonna hang like that. So I'm gonna put a hole right here. Just like that. And when that was dry, I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Clear. My neighbors came over and I was showing them the Fibonacci gauge and was talking about the golden proportion. And one of them said something about the golden rule. So I thought that would be the perfect verse to put on the back of this project. So I used the toner transfer technique to put on Luke 631, which says, do to others what you would want them to do to you. The golden rule on the back of the golden number gauge, I thought it fit. Here's a little bit that I learned about this number. 1.618, also known as phi, not to be confused with pi, is a number that is a ratio of the distance between two numbers. Like this. Starting with one, add the previous number in the sequence to the number. One plus one equals two, two plus one equals three, three plus two equals five, five plus three equals eight, eight plus five equals 13, 13 plus eight equals 21, and etc. Therefore, the sequence is one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377, etc. The ratios are glitchy, however, until about the ninth number, and then they are pretty much 1.618. Then after the 40th number in the sequence, the ratio is accurate to 15 decimal places. That would be 0 0.1680339887498894. I also added my logo signature, dated it, and added a hanger. Then I added a bolt with a few nuts to hold the gauge. Let's check it out. There! Ah, the Fibonacci gauge. And part of the Fibonacci number. Awesome. Okay, I moved a big foot over a little bit so I could put the Fibonacci frame right there. So I've had a good time making this project and I learned a lot about the Fibonacci gauge and the number of phi. It's a continuous number and I think I've already explained it in the video, what I learned anyway. Um, so thanks for joining me everybody. And I put all of the information that you need to make one of these Fibonacci gauges down in the description box below, which is a link to Steve Ramsey's website where he has a link to this plan. So yay! So enjoy making your own Fibonacci gauge, and we will see you next time. Bye!